Hey guys, uh, Xbillion here. Today I'm going to show you how you can install uh, GBA ROMs on your iPhone so you can play, play them. Um, GBA stands for Game Boy Advance, if you didn't know. So, it's fairly good graphics for an iPhone that's running an emulator. So let's get started. First what you're going to do is if you're using a Mac, go down, right down to the bottom one where it's got a picture of a hard drive type thing with a world on top of it and a slash next to it. You want to click on that and let it load. Or if you're using WinSCP on Windows, you just want to go up to the bar that has an up arrow and click up three times. Then you want to go all the way down the bottom and you'll see a file called var. Click var. Let it load. Now scroll down until you see the f uh, file called mobile. Click that. Then go into media. Now what you want to do here is create a folder called ROMs. So on a Windows you right click or on a Mac you hold down control you go down to the bottom and you go new folder. Now you enter the new f name of the new folder which is going to be R O M and then a little s. So capital R O M and then a small s. It must be that. Then you click create give it a second to load and it'll come up with ROMs. Double click on that. Now you're going to create another folder and as I said before right click on uh, Windows or Control and click on a Mac click New Folder then click then write down G B A in capitals then click Create. And let it load. Now once that's loaded with GBA, you double click on that. Now you've got your VAR Mobile Media ROMs GBA. Now this is where you're going to install your files. So what you want to do is wherever you download it from, from a torrent site such as Demonoid or the Pirate Bay or anywhere, wherever you've got it, you want to click on it. Open it up. I've got Pokemon Diamond. Then all you do is drag it and drop. Give it a second. Let it load. Click allow. And all you got to do is let it load up and uh, transfer onto it. Now, um, my computer is very, very slow because I'm using the phone's 3G internet to transfer the file through. So, this is going to take a while. But this is basically all you have to do. And it shouldn't be too hard for you, so just follow the instructions as I said, and you should have no troubles at all. Also, remember, this is the new, uh, GPS phone beta for the 2.0 so it might be a bit buggy but it's worked fine for me so far and that's about it so this is X Billion here signing off uh, rate, comment, subscribe if I helped you and I'll see you all later bye